Welcome to Rin Reese and welcome to another Sweet Valley Sunday. This week we are looking at um, Super Chiller number five, Curse of the Ruby Necklace. I love this book. I loved it as a child. I still love it now. I will go more into that as we continue on. Um, this one. This one I did start in October. Did not get it finished until now in November. So a little bit late, but I had to see it through. Um, Curse of the Ruby Necklace. So Jessica finds this necklace um, while they're walking the beach and she becomes obsessed with it. And then she starts having these nightmares. Meanwhile, so that's one plot. Another plot going on. There is a movie being filmed at the Keller Mansion, the abandoned Keller Mansion, um, along the coast. And so Jessica and Elizabeth get cast as extras because they're twins. I thought it was really great how they actually went into like the film industry a little bit and explained that where um, kids can only work so many hours and so they were really, really excited to find Jessica and Elizabeth because they were twins and therefore they could like switch them out when hours were up, which is like an actual thing. So I thought that was really cool that they tried to keep things realistic in a very unrealistic storyline. Um, so we continue on. Um, at one point, Jessica forgets her backpack or leaves her backpack with Elizabeth. I don't remember exactly. The necklace is in it. And then Elizabeth becomes obsessed with the necklace. Jessica is like, oh, whatever, sure, you can have the necklace, which kind of surprises Elizabeth because she'd been so obsessed with it. But Jessica was actually kind of relieved not to have the necklace anymore. Um, so then Elizabeth starts having all the nightmares and then enter Robin. So their cousin Robin from San Diego comes up to visit because of course there's a movie going on. So um, Robin joins and she also gets cast as a um, extra and they've got this whole thing going on. Um, you then find out that the movie is about a girl who was killed at her 12th birthday party. She fell out the balcony from the master bedroom and fell to her death on the rocky beach. And so um, Elizabeth and Jessica are kind of like horrified to figure out that that's exactly the nightmares they've been having. So they start to put two and two together that what's going on with the necklace and the movie are connected. Um, long story short, the necklace belonged to Lillian, the girl who died. And so the whole point of this is to figure out Lillian's killer. Um, I love the plot of this book. I would love to see this as like an actual movie. Like it doesn't have to be a Sweet Valley Twin movie. Like just the plot of it being flushed out and turned into an actual like murder mystery paranormal thing. I, I just, I love the whole thing. So, um, while they're filming, they start seeing like Lillian on the film and stuff like that, but only the twins and Robin, because of course Robin wears the necklace and she starts having nightmares. In the end, they end up figuring out who the killer is and they get this, you know, decades old mystery solved, um, which then causes the film crew to have to rewrite the end of the movie, which makes the star who has been a giant pain in everybody's butt, um, even more angry because now she's not really the star someone else is because instead of being the murderer Hilda is the person who tried to save Lillian anyways it's great it's just wonderful and of course Hilda's still alive and they're able to like let the world know that she wasn't the killer because everybody thought she was anyways great book I highly recommend it like it's just a really fun read um, and because the super chillers, like, yes, there's, they, they don't really introduce all of the characters because they expect you to know, like, who Maria and stuff like that is, um, just from the previous books in the series. But overall, aside from, like, just not explaining who some of the characters are, this is a wonderful standalone book. <laughs> I love it. Anyways, I could continue just saying I love it over and over again on the camera, but I will spare you that. Um, but I really do love it. So, um, happy reading, and if you do read it, comment below, tell me what your opinion is, tell me if you like it. Am I completely out to lunch? Do you think it would be a great movie? Because I think it would be a great movie. Anyways, keep reading.